Uh, not on June. This, this, is a, this is June 2nd antics. A oh, damn. I can't. <laughs> Alright, we're going over to PS2. Here we go. Right, so, let's see. Dill already letting loose the gyro oh, and oh. giving Vivi a chance to come in with uh, some low aura combos already. Yeah, I think she was expecting Vivi to immediately drop down from the platform and then like just get hit by a gyro for a little bit and then get like a really good, like, ow, a good combo starter off of that. But Vivi was like, I'm gonna wait here for a little bit, actually. And watch this. Who the fool? Ooh, okay. Alright, Vivi air dodged in there after that after that combo starter. Let's see Dill off stage now. Coming in uh, relatively fast. I feel like we see Dill stall a lot more off stage, but this time she's coming up swinging. And I think there's a matchup that she does with a little bit more of a faster pace with anyway, because Lucario, you, you want to like get in and kill him quickly. Yeah. You know, you don't, you don't want to you don't want, like, sit comfortably at like that deep red for whatever reason, especially Vivi is a Lucario, where Vivi has these, these, uh, these amazing momentum uh, and movement with Lucario that's just really pretty look at sometimes, and kind of trips tr 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 up your opponent uh, a lot. Yeah, and I mean, especially, you don't want Lucario, you don't want to give Lucario the chance to set up any pressure, Absolutely especially, not. especially uh, now that he's, now that they've got this huge uh, amount of aura, you know, that aura sphere is going to be insanely huge. And once it's that big, it can clip it can clip the ledge if you're hanging there for a little bit too long. That's where Dill kind of likes to be sometimes. So, definitely have uh, Vivi at a really good sweet spot to end the stock very quickly. <gasps> Not getting the tech chase though. Unfortunate but true, unfortunate but true. Yep. Now going off there stage, go. doesn't even need the Aura Sphere. Uh, using the downer to catch Dill, trying to come up with uh, either a double jump or an uppy. I, that was such a good downer. It covered pretty much everything except for, I think, just an immediate up air, uh, just because Ooh. of how fast that Lucario can fall. Great parry, but not able to find anything out of it. I know, Dill's in a very like, precarious situation. At the very least, she hasn't got any, any percentage taken on her. But Vivi is at 160%. There is a there is a really good chance for for like a double aura sphere pressure. He kind of like drags you up into the air and does a really good back air from it, mm -hmm. um, or forward oh, air. And no. missing the up smash and getting 60% for it already. Yeah, that was such a, a great back throw there. Uh, definitely took Dill off guard. Not ready for a tech situation. I feel like typically in that situation we see Vivi go for like an up throw there uh, to get more of a guaranteed combo, but instead. <gasps> able to get a tech chase and there, Dill able to get a, uh, a forward smash off of the whiff counter by BB. Yeah, had that counter actually hit, that actually, I, I'm pretty sure I would have killed Dill because uh, the, the counter oh, is yeah. determined by like uh, BB's percentage rather than how strong the move being counter was. So now that counter is going to be like almost, almost nothing. Maybe when you're using like a little bit orange, it will kill, it will, it will actually kill. But really unfortunate for uh, BB. But finally a sock taken for Dill. And she's doing her best not to get too much percentage on her while she racks up Vivi's own percentage. Yeah, and you can see Vivi even going for like a tech chase uh, F smash right there because, you know, they know they're probably not going to be killing with anything else nah. pretty soon. Uh -oh. Oh, but Dill, on the other hand, has rage and uh, could potentially be seeing an, an early stock uh, if we see another juggle situation like that. Getting the two down tilts and getting the right sour back. spot of back air though. Had that been like the really good sweet spot, the deep back air uh, of the hitbox, would it, I, I think that straight up just would have eliminated VV. Absolutely. All right, jumping over the aura sphere, getting the neutral air, putting VV back off stage, trying to go for the arm rotor to oh. look for VV recovering high. Oh, but the, the the dare on that was really so precise, but not quite there, which really sucks. But at least she made it up with the, up with the, uh, with the up air, so we, we, we made things work around here. Mm-hmm. Maybe trying to find their way in to get this kill. Force Palm will Not just barely be doing it. I, I was honestly a little bit surprised that it did kill. <laughs> Vivi had, like, no aura. I actually, I actually thought it wasn't going to kill because it was just taking too long, and I was like, oh. Uh, yeah. I was waiting for, like, to, like, clap back to the stage. Right. Dill's, Dill's just been getting so much out of uh, out of her openings so far. Vivi not able to really contend with Dill going high as she loves to do so often. Oh, oh, oh! That was that was. That was kind of about to get a little bit of chip damage in there. Yeah, I was I was honestly expecting Dill to get a uh, a confirm out of it, but not quite. 
still going super high. Doesn't want to deal with uh, the high rage VV at all. Oh, no, no, oh. no, 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 no. Almost gets the ladder with the Aura Sphere charges. Ooh, you're just swinging. Yeah, maybe that means swinging for the fences, fences over here. Both good. Oh, there what? it is. Okay. D didn't actually really come that close to killing, but the call out by Vivi was insane. Vivi just like crouched and just waited for an opportunity for Dill to do a dash attack and just tried countering it. Or actually did counter, not tried, literally did counter it. Yeah. Great tech there by Vivi, avoiding what would have been certain death if Dill was able to get that tech chase. Ooh, the parries were crazy. Oh, oh no. catching the extreme speed, of course, going to. Oh. Oh, that, the that, contemplation. That got me tiring. I yeah. know she's so tired. Yeah, I mean, even though she was able to, to clutch it out in the end, that was a, a real a real heart jerker. I don't... <laughs> yeah, no, Dil just was playing another patient game. We know that VB typically does do extreme speed a little bit towards the middle of the platform. Oh, and, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> And catching with that really big up smash is so as it was is perfect like just timing precision mm -hmm. and patience uh, exhibited by Doe. Yep. All right. So let's see into our game two. Evie, you gotta put the cat ears on. Yeah, come on. That's how you. That's how you get your. Uh... How you get your power up? Y'all think we're lying? We're not lying. You see how cat ears gives you more aura. You see how every time Dill wears the cat ears, she wins. Yeah, she got the clutch. And then she's over and wearing semis. Okay, I mean so is VV, but like, okay. The well, point is, <laughs> that's why Dill's a game up. Exactly. I said Dill's a game up and has cat ears on. Exactly. All right, spacing around uh, VV right now. Dill doing a great job of. Yo, trying to make sure that Vivi just doesn't get any momentum so far. Even, you know, taking things high with the, the burner, not not really wanting Vivi to get any sort of starter. No, absolutely not. Uh, we have a pretty even game right now. Both, both players really just skirting around one another, really making sure that, you know, they, they don't want to get by one another. They know that once you have a really good, uh, good startup, they're going to take it a mile. So... Here we have Dill giving it, once again, here you go. Dill taking a really good, oh! Great extreme speed by BB to get. Away uh, from the, yeah, away from yeah. the arm rotor. Okay. All right, Dill looking for some uh, chasing. There it is. With the down tilts. Up air not taking it quite yet. Great the eye by VB right there. Not able to find the pickup out of the gyro. Dill's just swinging at nothing with the arm rotor. Oh no. Phoebe had the right idea, but just barely mistimed it, and instead finding a back air for their troubles. First stock going to Dill after what looked like a huge swing in momentum in Phoebe's favor. Yeah, now it looks like Dill is having a really easy, uh, a really good time over here. Seeing with you know all the, all her stocks all done and dusted, and Phoebe has no aura, has to really work hard to uh, work up this kill because. They, they need it, you know. You, yeah. you don't want you. Do, you don't really want Robin any sort of lead whatsoever. And I don't think the car really wants to be in any disadvantage either. Because once the car is in disadvantage, it's like ah. Again, yeah, see, doing nothing. nothing. That was a gentle breeze to Rob. But I mean, you know, like we were saying before, this is all the momentum is in Dill's favor right now because VB has to work so hard. But finally, with the up air. And only 8% on VB. So, you know, no aura, but no, really no extra credit for Dill right now. And VB's getting some good combos started right now. And VB getting some licks in, finally. But Dill has just been playing so evasively right now. She does not want to interact with the Lucario. Really, I feel like Dill is trying to get the most bang for her buck when it comes to her neutral wins. And that's why she's... Just kind of walking away and poking a little bit. There we go. Finally recognizing that the forward air would set up for a tech chase situation and getting in uh, F smash and stage control for it as well. All right, using the neutral air, neutral air to fight her way back onto stage. 
out of shield, putting Dill off stage, but she is certainly not uncomfortable. Oh. All right, getting a little bit of a trade in the situation. Now we have both pairs at pretty much an even percentage, and Vivi has, is starting to charge up that aura, charge up that really like big hitbox that he's going to want to throw out whenever Dill is kind of stalling on the ledge. Uh, but you know, Dill again, like you were saying, she's playing very basically, playing a very patient game, just like that, waiting for Vivi to come drag. Uh, Got themselves right in front of her, and she's just gonna throw them back into a fair. Like, you know, you, you take what you can. Yep, Dill waited for Vivi to start the extreme speed animation and able to get the kill for it and putting a lot of aura off the board for Vivi. Up air, definitely not gonna be doing it yet with no aura. That down smash could have, but I mean, Vivi has to go for these big reads to get this kill at early percentages without. Uh, you know, without taking too much damage. I even feel like right there that uh, double team wouldn't have, wouldn't have come close to killing. I, th no I think it would have done a little bit of damage, but I don't. I, I think with good DI, she would have been able to come back. Just because again, uh, I believe DP was like twenty percent whenever Ooh. they tried doing the double team. Wouldn't have done much. Oh, but. yeah. I love the idea right there for that aura charge into force bomb, but just barely misspaced it. Still now living to one seventy and just. Running to the other side of the stage, setting up that gyro, really making Vivi work for this. And Ooh, again, the patience. Vivi, I think, is maybe getting a little bit antsy for this kill. That's, uh, I think, the third whiffed down B that we've seen this set. And Vivi's really had to pay for it, already getting up to 94%, which does mean they're going to be getting a lot closer to, to getting this kill, but not if. Not if Dill can find it first. I'm sorry, that was really smart. Actually, doing, I, 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 I'm not sure if she purposely did. Wow. I, I, I'm not sure if she purposely did the sour spot back here in order to throw Vivi into the gyro and then get that actual good spot back here, back air once more. Mm -hmm. Like here, it was right at the, at the end of this. Oh no. Yeah, I think it was right before that. It was I right think before that. The but way, it's okay. the way that Dill had it set up was so that the. Um, the sweet spot back air caught no tech and tech in place. Mm -hmm. The gyro was catching tech away. And the way that Dill drifted inward with the uh, momentum from the back air caught roll or tech roll in, like we saw was the the timeline that happened. Uh, that was really smart. Like, like bro, I, I saw the start of back air and she was all the way in front of VV and I was like, it ain't gonna hit. And then it hit! And I that's was like... A, that's that's a whole rocket booster on Rob. Like, damn, I see you. And I believe that is gonna be Dylan moving into winner's finals against Amaryllis, who has yep. been waiting. Waiting and chilling, and Dylan's gonna have to deal with Bayonetta. <laughs> Bayo versus Rob. Loki 